So in this problem, we've got a university maths degree course has two routes through, A or B. The percentage of students who are on the degree course who are left-handed on route A and route B are 6% and 8% respectively. 60% opt for route B. So what we want to do is we want to draw a two-way table that represents this information. So we've got left-handed and we've got right-handed. And we're also going to want A and B. And we're going to want totals as well, aren't we? So total and total. So uh, we've got 6% who are left-handed on root A. So I'm going to write that as a decimal rather than a percentage. So 0.06. And we also know that root B, 8% uh, are left-handed, so that's 0.08. And we're also told that 60% opt for root B. So the total of left-handed, right-handed people will be 0.6. So this is the information that I have, okay? So I now want to make sure that I can fill everything else in. So 0.06 and 0.08. So the percentage of people who are left-handed on a degree course for maths is 0.14, 14%. Okay. Now I know that the total must add up to 1, okay, 100%. So that must mean that uh, the percentage of right-handed people must be 86%. Okay, so 0.86. Now, the right-handed uh, people who are doing root B must be 0.08 plus something plus equals the 0.6. So that must be 52%. So 52% of the cohort are right-handed and doing uh, root B. So those who are right-handed and on root A must be 0.86 take away 0.52, which is 0.34. So 34% of the total cohort are right-handed on root A. And 0.34 plus 0.06 must add up to 0.4 in order for 0.4 and 0.6 to add up to 1. Okay, so that is my two-way table drawn out. Find the probability that all three are, so three, se three students, sorry, are selected at random. Find the probability that all three are on root A and right-handed. Okay, so... If all three are on root A and right-handed, then we've got the 0.34. That's the probability of one person being selected. Okay. And so because what's well, happening three times, that must mean that it's 0.34 cubed. 0.34 times 0.34 times 0.34. Okay, for the three people. Now you'll notice that um, I'm not uh, selecting it as, right, I've got 100 people and my percentage is going down each time, okay, um, as I select someone. We're looking at proportions here. So I don't know how many people this represents, okay? So that's how you've got to see this, as the percentage isn't going to change as I select people, okay? So 0.34 cubed is 0.039304. Okay, or 0.0393 to 3 sig fig. Now, 
if one is left-handed and two are right-handed, then the probability of picking someone who is left-handed is 0.14, OK? And then the probability of picking someone who is right-handed is 0.86. So I want that to happen twice. OK? So it'd be 0.86 times 0.86. Now, if you think about this as a two-way table, that is rather as a probability tree, then the first choice of person is either left-handed or right-handed. OK? So this is where we've got the 0 0.14 and the 0 0.86 from. Then the second person is either left-handed or right-handed. And then the third person is either left-handed or right-handed. OK? So in each case, these probabilities aren't changing, these proportions. So then, if you're thinking about, right, how many ways through can I get one left-handed and two that are right-handed? Well, I have left-handed, right-handed, right-handed. That's one way. Or um, I could have had right-handed, left-handed, right-handed. Or I could have had right-handed, right-handed, left-handed. OK? There's no other way through where I can get... Uh, one L and two R's. So actually there's only three ways through. So this has got to be multiplied by three to get the end result. So 0.14 times 0.86 squared and then times that by three and we get 0.310632. Now if you think about um, this first one again, and think of it as a probability tree, then all three on route A and right-handed. So actually, what you would have had is um, route A left-handed, route A right-handed, route B left-handed, route B right-handed. So you would have had four options at the start, then four options for each of those, then four options for each of those. It would have been a very big probability tree. But there's only one way through to get all three on route A and right-handed. So in order to get uh, right hand, route A right-handed, route A right-handed, route A right-handed. OK, so it's 0 0.34 times 0 0.34 times 0 0.34. There's only one way through. So I don't really need to worry about thinking about uh, a probability tree for that one. OK. So part C, one is left-handed and on route A, and two are right-handed and on route B. So this is a um, slightly more complicated version of part B here. OK. So one is left-handed and on route A. So really, as I was explaining for that part A, we're thinking about four options at the start. Your A left-handed, A right-handed, B left-handed, B right-handed. OK, so your first choice, you want to go left-handed and on route A. So A left-handed is 0 0.06. So then you've got two that are right-handed and on route B. OK, so you'd have four coming out of this one. And we want right-handed and B. OK, so B right-handed is 0 0.52. And then you've got one, two, three, four coming out of that. And you want B and right-handed again. 0 0.52. OK. 
So when you're thinking of it like that, I'm certainly going to have 0 0.06 times by 0 0.52, oh sorry, squared, okay, in order to do it. However, how many ways through could I have gone? Because it's not just that way, because I could have had B and right-handed first, then I could have had A and left-handed, one, two, three, four, B and right-handed, or I could have had B and right-handed, then one, two, three, four, A and left-handed. Okay, so actually there were three ways through again. Okay, so three lots of this result. So three times 0 0.06 times 0 0.52 squared gets me 0 0.048672. Okay, so this is a much more fiddly um, two-way table problem that involves this concept of working with a probability tree in the background.